Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. I hope everything's great with you guys and Happy New Year! I hope everyone had a lovely New Year's Eve, eating good food, keeping social distance and just had a nice time. Since it is a new year, I really want to start the year fresh and I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time, which you can tell from the title is a makeup declutter. My makeup is so personal to me. I am so emotionally attached to it. It is not healthy. <laughs> Like even the makeup that I hate, I still cling on to it. And I just thought new year, new possibilities and just, I don't want to say I want to start over, but I want to start fresh with my makeup collection. I want to collect things that I truly, truly desire and not need, but that I feel are going to fill a purpose in my makeup collection and not just get things that I don't even want just for the sake of getting them. And I wouldn't say that I have a huge makeup collection. I'm not one of those beauty gurus that have like huge, huge makeup collections, but I definitely have, you know, an average makeup collection for someone who really likes makeup. And that is pretty much my intro for this video. I'm gonna try and keep this video as short as possible, but let's see how that turns out. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the video. So I really wanted to do a before and after of what it looks like in here. But I just want to tell you, inside this drawer is chaos. It's mayhem. And this is not a representation of me as a person, or it probably is. <laughs> this is a representation of me in 2020 because I have not done anything to this drawer in a very long time. All right, let's stop talking and just look. So as you can see, it is chaos. I mean, I can't even believe I'm even showing you <laughs> this. Like I said, I really wanted to show you a before and a after um, of what it looks like in here. As you can see, there used to be some sort of system here, but as time has gone by, I've just literally thrown things in here. But this needs to stop. I need to get my shit together. So my plan is to just take all of this stuff out and kind of organize them into some categories just to make things a little bit easier. So I decided not to show you the process of me emptying this and cleaning this out. I just thought that it would be boring, but here we are. This is empty. I've cleaned this out. Ignore this. I could not remove this, but it is clean. And I have purchased a couple of these storage things. I'm most excited about these lipstick holders because I feel like I will get a lot, a, a much better view of the colors and the lip products that I have. And this side will be filled with the basket that I have from before. I also have this and my plan for this is to keep my everyday makeup in this and also keep a couple of things that I want to try out, new things perhaps, just on the drawer as a reminder to use certain products. All right, so I thought that we could start off with foundations. And when I emptied my drawer and just got a view of the makeup that I have, I just got really excited of being kind of ruthless when I'm decluttering. My plan with this video was to not declutter that much because like I said, I'm very emotionally attached to my makeup. But when I saw some of these things that I have not used for such a long time and I don't even enjoy, I just want to get rid of it. So let's start with foundations. So first off, we have this NARS one. Love this one, gonna keep it. My Lancome Ultra Wear. Love this one as well, gonna keep that one. And then I have these two foundations from Wet n Wild. I know straight away that I won't be keeping this one. I've had this for years and I don't like it. And this one, I did a video not too long ago on this foundation and honestly, I did not enjoy it. My plan was to kind of keep trying it out and see if I can mix it and you know just trying to make it work but I'm gonna be honest the shade isn't a great match for me and I I just didn't like it so I'm not gonna keep it and I am going to be doing two piles I'm going to be doing one pile for just throwing away and then one pile to ask someone if they wanted so if you're one of my IRL friends <laughs> And family and if you want any of these stuff just let me know then we have a couple of these tube ones this foundation from Isadora do not like it actually hate it it's very full coverage but the shade isn't right for me and I just don't like the finish of this one so that's a no this BB cream from elf oh my god I love this BB cream it's so good 
it has a very very strong perfume to it so that kind of keeps me from actually using this one but i love the finish of this so i'm actually going to be keeping that one then we have this one from lumine this has basically zero coverage i hate the smell the color is off so obviously i'm not going to keep this one then i have literally these two that are basically empty from nyx it's their total drop control actually kind of like this foundation but as you can see i basically don't have anything left so i'm gonna get rid of those then we have the mac face and body and the glossier skin perfecting tint i really enjoy both of these so i'm gonna be keeping them then we have the bourgeois healthy mix foundation love this stuff it's so amazing then we have a couple of stick foundations this stick foundation from colourpop i really really like this one it has a cat hair in it that's nice uh, I really, really like this foundation. It is a little bit too dark for me, but I love the finish of this foundation. So I'm going to be keeping that one. This foundation from Anastasia, this is a really, really good shade match for me, but it is way too matte for me. Every time I used it, it enhanced my dry areas on my face. So unfortunately, I will not be keeping this foundation. And next up we have concealers. So straight off, this is way too dark for me, <laughs> but I think I got this to work as a bronzer. I don't know, but it's going because it's all dried up and stuff as well. And I have not used this for years. This one, little sample, Radiant Queen from NARS. This is empty, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Next up, we have this Wet n Wild concealer. This is not a great shade match for me. It is a little bit too dark and I, never use this so that's gonna go next up we have the full size nars one i really really like this but i do find that it's a little bit too dry for me but i still really like it next up we have the maybelline fit me concealer this is one of my all-time favorite concealers this is like my fourth tube and as you can see i need to get a new one so i think i can use a little bit of what's left in here so I'm going to keep that one. And next up, we have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. As you guys know, I love this concealer. I just adore it. It's so amazing. It looks amazing on the skin. But I've been reading up on Too Faced and I'm not really liking what I've been reading. But I will be finishing this one up, but I won't repurchase it. And next, we have these camo concealers from e.l.f. I've heard that they actually have a hydrating version of these concealers but i can't find them in sweden but i am going to hang on to these ones in case i find them and i might want to mix them to get a better shade match even though these are very very full coverage i feel like i could make these work so i'm going to hang on to these a little bit longer colourpop no filter concealer love this it's amazing gonna keep it Next up, we have the Glossier Stretch Concealer and RMS on Cover Up. Love both of these. These are great for summer when you want something really light and dewy. So I'm going to be keeping this. So for the sake of this video not being five hours long, I've just matched up my cheek and face powders together. So let's start with blush. This blush from Lily Lolo. It's a loose blush. And that is something I do not like about this. As you can see, it is super messy, but I really enjoy the color of this one when I want something super bright. So I'm gonna hang on to this for now. Next up, we have the Glow and Play blush from MAC. I really enjoy the texture of this one, but I don't feel like the color is the best on me, but I haven't had this for too long. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. Next up, we have this blush from Bourjois. I really love the color of this one, but I never reach for it. I feel like this isn't pigmented enough. I mean, now that I swatched it, it has some pigments, but I feel like with a brush, it just doesn't pick up. So I never use it. So I will be getting rid of this, even though I love the packaging. It's so cute, but I won't hang on to it. Next up, we have this blush from Indie Beauty. This is a really beautiful color, but it is very, very bright. I do use it from time to time. I feel like I want to try this the next time I do my makeup to kind of see where I'm at with this one. So I'm going to hang on to it for now. A couple of cream blushes. This one is from Glossier. This one is from Colourpop. 
love both of these we'll be keeping and then we have my broken but beloved technique blush palette i use this pretty much every time i do my makeup love this we'll be keeping it then we have this palette from viva la diva which is a swedish brand i've had this for years as you can see it is gross it is a contour and correcting palette i've had a lot of use of this but it's just way too old and honestly i never reach for it anymore so i will be getting rid of this next up we have contour and bronzers you can start with this one i never use bronzers i've kind of embraced my paleness so i don't even bother with a bronzer and also this bronzer and blush shade is not really a good color for me so i will throw this one out then we have fenty matchstick in the shade amber use this a lot so i will be keeping this one then we have some face powders this is some rcma that i've just depotted into this one we'll be keeping this next up we have this rms powder to be honest with you i don't use powder a lot and i will use this powder from time to time when i want something i like to match this with my on cover up so i will be keeping this one we have these pressed powdery foundations types of things i have used these in the past a lot but i just don't reach for them anymore the only reason i have this one is because i used a mirror in this one <laughs> but I can use another mirrors. So I will throw these ones out. Next up, we have this bronzer from Wet n Wild. I've used this as a all over face powder. It doesn't really set the face, but it gives a lovely glow. And to be honest with you, I have not used this in a very long time. Uh, even though it is really nice, I just never reach for it. So I will get rid of this. My powder from H&M, also <laughs> broken. But I really, really like this powder. It is the powder that I'm currently using the most. So I will hang on to this one. Next up, we have highlighters. First off, we have this highlighter from Technique. I used to love this. It is a really natural, pretty highlighter. I used this in a video not too long ago. And I've just realized that I, I'm never going to reach for this in, instead of any of my other ones. So I will get rid of this one. This one from Indie Beauty. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup. Love it. We'll keep it. Same thing with this Glossier Holoscope one. I use this all the time, so I will be keeping that one. Next up, we have this palette from Sleek. I used to love this palette. This used to be my go-to, as you can see. Hit pan on that. But I feel like this one from Indie Beauty has definitely replaced that one since it is a better shade for me. And the other shades in this palette, I just have never really used so i will get rid of this this highlighter from makeup revolution i did a video on makeup revolution not too long ago my plan was to kind of give this a try as a blush topper but honestly will i ever use it as a blush topper instead of any of my other highlighters no i will not so i will get rid of this and lastly we have soft and gentle from mac even though it doesn't really look like it, I do use this quite a lot. I really, really like this highlighter. And we have come to eyeshadow palettes. And I don't think I will get rid of anything in this pile. I would say I don't have too big of an eyeshadow collection in my personal little stash. I have a freelance makeup kit with other makeup in it. But in my personal little collection, I'm pretty happy with what I have, but let's go through it anyways. First off, we have these Huda palettes. I love the format of these palettes. I love that they're so small and sleek. You can stack them really well together. This Mauve Obsession one, I love this. The color theme in this palette is perfect for me. I love these vampy reds, so I will be keeping that one, obviously. Then we have this Topaz Obsession palette and honestly these are not really the colors that i normally go towards on myself i prefer pinky and taupes and stuff like that but i will hang on to this one just in case i want to do a look with like some ready browns then we have a palette from makeup revolution that i got not too long ago for a video i've only used it for that occasion but i feel like i want to give it a couple more tries before i kind of make up my mind if i want to keep this or not 
Then we have this little mini palette from NARS. I think this is so cute. I think I got this in case I wanted to travel, which honestly, I never travel even before COVID. I never used to travel, but I just love the shimmers in this palette. I think it's such a cute little thing. I mean, these two, I can definitely find those in another palette, but I mean, I just think this is so cute. So I will keep this one. Next up, we have the wet palette from ColourPop and I probably will get rid of this one. The only color that I ever use in this palette is the silvery color. It is super metallic and beautiful, but I don't want to keep a whole palette just because of one color. And there is a silvery shade in this ColourPop palette. It's not as reflective, but I could just use this. I don't feel like it's justified to keep a palette just because of one color. So I will get rid of this. The Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I love this palette, so I will be keeping this. Next up, we have two colorful matte palettes. Disco Dynamite palette from Glisten Cosmetics and the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And honestly, I use these all the time when I want to do something colorful, so I will be keeping both of them. Next up, we have the Rowan 1111 palette. I haven't had this palette for too long, but I just adore it. I use this all the time. I love to use this as a topper or on its own. Just lovely, lovely shimmers. So I'm going to be keeping this. Then we have two palettes from Marc Jacobs. This is the Fantasy palette, and this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. The color theme in this one is everything I want in a palette. It has pinks, it has browns, it has some shimmers. So I'm going to be keeping this one and I will be keeping this one as well because it has some really rich browns, some neutrals and some really lovely golds. And also the Marc Jacob formula is amazing. It is so buttery and pigmented and just blends like a dream. So I really, really like these palettes. And we have come to the Subculture palette. This is my first and only eyeshadow palette from Anastasia. Not for any particular reasons, I've just chose to get other palettes. Even though I hardly ever reach for this palette these days, I won't get rid of this. I still feel like the color story of this palette is beautiful, it's so unique, and the formula is amazing. So I will be keeping this. And next up, we have my two big eyeshadow palettes. And also, excuse the noise of my cats eating. They're always being fed by our automatic cat feeder every time I film, so excuse the shooing. But anyways, the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. A neutral palette has not spoken to me as much as this palette. I loved it from the first time I saw it. I was a little bit skeptical when I first tried it out, but it definitely has grown on me. I use this a lot. So I will be keeping this. The Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette. I love this palette. Use this a ton. Such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Such a good job by Nikki and Beauty Bay. So I will be keeping this. My friends, we have reached lip products. I have a lot of reds. So I feel like I want to kind of start with all the reds. So here we have the red colors. These two from Lush are super old. I don't even know why I have them. We'll get rid of those. This Stunna paint in the color Uncensored from Fenty Beauty, one of the most beautiful reds I've ever seen. So I will be keeping that one. This red from Bourjois, this is the shade Cinderella. This is beautiful. It is a cream lipstick, but it lasts so well on the lips. So we'll be keeping this one. This is more of a berry shade, but it's kind of red. This is Exorcism from Kat Von D. This is super old. I never reach for this anymore, so I will get rid of this. Sherry Skies from NYX. Do not really like the formula of this, but I love the color. So I will keep that one. This lipstick from Bourjois. I have a video on these ones. I kind of like them. I like the color, so I will keep this one. This is a gloss from Dior in the color 864. It is a gloss, like I said, but it has a lot of color to it. Love this one, so I will keep that one. These two are liquid lipsticks. This one is from Yara Cosmetics, and this one is from Sleek. I never use these. These are super old, so I will get rid of those. 
Next up is another gloss. This one is from NARS. It looks really red on like in the tube, but it isn't very red on the lips, but still it is really, really pretty. So we'll keep that one. Next up, we have some random lipsticks that I honestly never ever use. This one is from a brand called Freedom Makeup. I got a bunch of these, but I never use them. So I will get rid of those. This one is from Wet n Wild. This is a deep berry red. Again, I never reached for this, so I will get rid of this one. This one is also a deep red one from Wet n Wild. Never used this one as well, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And these are a bunch of some more Freedom Makeup lipsticks. Has some weird colors. <laughs> like a purple and gold. I never use these, so I will get rid of all of these. And I totally forgot about this lipstick from Cap D. It is the shade Hexagram. It is a really lovely warm brick red. Love this lipstick, so we'll be keeping that. And next up we have some pinks. This soft matte cream from NYX, not gonna keep it. I don't like the formula, I don't like the color. This is a liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild, yes. Never use this, I don't like the formula, don't like the color. This is a lip gloss from NARS in the shade Orgasm, a really pretty pink gloss. So I will be keeping this one. This lipstick, oh my God, if you saw my Makeup Revolution video, you know what's about to happen with this one. I hate this lipstick so much, so I will get rid of this. Next up, we have this super old lipstick from BH Cosmetics. As you can see, it is quite beaten up and it is a super, super bright pink. And honestly, I will use this lipstick when I want a super, super pink lipstick for a picture or something. But for everyday life, I never use this, so I will not keep it. Next up, we have another Wet n Wild lipstick. This is a bright peachy pink and I don't like these colors on me. I like with the BH one, I will use this if I want to create like a certain look for a photo. But for every day, I don't ever use this, so I will not hang on to it. Next up, we have this Love Me lipstick from MAC. This is a purple. I haven't gotten around to use this one yet, but I really like the color, so I will hang on to this one. And I found another red. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> this one is from um, Benecos. This is very, very similar to the Cat 1D one. This definitely is a lot more of a brick red. I mean, I don't know. They're actually quite different, but honestly, I never reach for this lipstick, so I will get rid of this one. And next up we have nudes and browns and whatever. So first off we have this little minis from Anastasia. I think I like both of these colors. This one, which is called Spice, is a really lovely warm brown nude. This is a little bit more pink, but it is one of those pinks that I actually feel comfortable using. So I will keep both of these. And I really like the Anastasia formula as well. Then we have some liquid lipsticks. This one from NYX, I'm going to be keeping. I use this quite a lot actually. Then we have the Kat Von D Lolita 2 and this one from Sephora. I never use this anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of these ones. Another Wet n Wild lipstick. This color actually looks pretty nice. Kind of similar to the Kat Von D Lolita. Let's swatch them. Yeah, they're very, very similar. I mean, there's a subtle difference there, but since I like the Lolita from Kat Von D, I'm gonna keep that one and get rid of this one from Wet n Wild. Two more Love Me lipsticks from MAC. This one is more of a brown one, and this is more of a nude pink one. Really like both of these, we'll keep them. And then we have another liquid lipstick from Bourjois. Really like this color, so I'm gonna keep this. And lastly, we have some glosses. Let's start with the blue one, shall we? I will never use this ever again. I've used this once or twice, so I will get rid of this. This one from Fenty, this is the fuzzy shade. I'm almost out of this, but I feel like I can scrape out a little bit more of this. So I'm gonna hang on to that one. Then we have another Fenty gloss. This is the shade Sweet Mouth. This is a lot paler, but it's so cute. I love this, so I will be keeping that. Then we have my Essence Clear Gloss. Love this gloss, we'll be keeping. Then we have this Indie Beauty. Whoops, what is this even? 
It looks like a clear gloss, but I'm going to be honest with you, I never reach for this one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then we have my Glossier Clear Gloss. Love this gloss. This is the gloss that I have with me wherever I'm going. I just love to pop this on for a little bit of moisture and, you know, something on my lips. Love the packaging. We'll be keeping. These are just some random things like eyelash curlers and fake blood. <laughs> I'm not going to go through these with you guys, but I will throw some of these things out. Next up, we have primers and sprays. I do have a couple of more face mists and stuff, but these are the ones that were in my drawer. This all nighter from Urban Decay, it's completely out. So I will get rid of that one. Another product from a Makeup Revolution video. I will try and use this a couple of more times before I make up my mind. This is a brush cleaner. We'll be keeping that one. Glossier Future Dew. Love this one. Love, love, love this one. So we'll be keeping that one. The Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. A product that so many people love. I've read so many amazing reviews of this product, but I'm going to be honest with you. I see zero difference <laughs> when I use this product and I really don't like the smell. I'm probably going to put this in my freelance makeup kit to kind of have on hand for a light moisturizer. But on myself, I just, I don't see a difference. I mean, it is a moisturizer to me and nothing else. And since I don't like the smell, I, I don't use it ever. And lastly, we have the strobe cream from Mac. This is the shade pink light. This is classic. It is really nice to mix in with your foundation use as a very, illuminating primer. I don't use it that much, especially since I got the Future Dew, but I feel like it's nice to have. And next up is eyelashes. And as you can see, I've kept so many disgusting used lashes that I just never use. The only lashes that I basically only use are, whoops, are these individuals from Sweet Lashes but it's the Nikki Makeup No Lash Lash. It's all I use for when I use lashes. So I will keep those. And I'm also gonna keep these lashes from Kiss. In this is the style Lily. These are just a really light, wispy strip lash. Could be good to have. I could also keep these individuals from Ardell. But other than that, like these lashes, I will never use these lashes again. So I will throw these out and we have reached the last products these are my pencils mascaras and brow things I just thought that I would kind of pile these things together to save some time straight off I'm not gonna get rid of any pencils I think I love eye pencils I use them I basically use all of them so I won't go through them since I won't get rid of any of them. Then we have some mascaras. The Marc Jacob Velvet Noir Mascara and Primer. This is like my second tube of the mascara. So obviously I love this stuff. So I will be keeping these two, both the primer and the mascara. Next we have the Maybelline Great Lash, a classic. This is not a very impactful mascara. It is very basic. It basically just color your lashes if you ask me and my tube is quite old so I will get rid of this one. The Marc Jacob Outlash Mascara. Love this one. This is probably my favorite mascara. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup. Love this mascara as well. And then we have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. The non-waterproof version used to be my go-to but I just don't like this mascara anymore. So I will get rid of this one. Next up, we have the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I also have done a video on this mascara and this definitely is a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I just really, really like this mascara and it's basically a new tube. So I will hang on to this one. This ColourPop mascara is very old, but I do remember I did like it. But like I said, it is old, so I will get rid of it. And we're almost at the end. So let's do the last product, which is brow products, except for this eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay, which I'm not going to get rid of for obvious reasons. 
which is, I love it. <laughs> Next up, we have this brow gel from Isadora. It is very, very old. So I'm not gonna be keeping that one. Then we have the dip brow gel from Anastasia. I have two colors for some reason. This is a brow gel, basically, and I like them. So I will be keeping them but I am on the lookout for a new brow gel. I feel like these are a little bit stiff and crispy. I'm looking for something that is a little bit more natural, but still gives a lot of color and texture. My brow duo from Anastasia. Oh, I just shoved my finger in there. Um, love this, we'll be keeping this. Probably the best brow powder ever out there. This is a brow made from Freedom Makeup. This used to be my jam. I used to use this all the time, as you can see, but I'm not a brow pomade person anymore, and this is very dry. So we'll get rid of this. And lastly, my Swatchkov spiking glue. I used this as a clear brow gel, amazing. I've literally had this tube for almost two years, and we still have a long way to go. This is amazing, so I will be keeping. So here we have the box of the things that I'm not keeping that I'm going to throw out or give to someone. I don't know yet, but it feels really, really good. I did not expect it to feel this good. So I'm really excited and I'm so proud of myself, but let's put all the things that I'm keeping into my drawer. And that is it. We did it. We decluttered and it feels great actually. I literally feel like a weight has lifted from my shoulder, just getting rid of all these things that I've just held onto for no reason at all. Like old makeup, makeup that I don't use. I mean, just, it feels so good not to have it anymore. And it also feels really nice to know what I have in my makeup collection. That way, like I said, it's gonna be much easier for me to kind of pick up things that I really want and I feel like is missing in my makeup collection that will fill a purpose. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I feel really inspired to create videos for you guys. It's a new year, new possibilities, and yeah, hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Take care till the next time, bye.